everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, here we are today in this shining beauty <laughs> and trailer uh, John Root is a uh, Freightliner uh, classic XL or freight shaker as he calls it I guess avoiding copyright and uh, problems um, and his uh, Great Dane Reefer and uh, we're, all, we're in Austin Texas and we're heading for uh, Del Rio, Texas. So let's uh, let's get in and get going. But boy, it's been a while since I've been in this truck in this configuration, like with a high roof sleeper and his trailer. It's a handsome looking outfit, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I just don't got to use it more. It's, uh, I do like it. It's a good truck. Got quite a few skins for it, but I got a bunch that need updating. And speaking of updates, there's something I noticed different here. Oh yeah, let's jump in. So remember in the old one, when you'd be sitting here, you'd have that bar on the vent window. Trailing edge of the vent window would be right in the middle of the mirror. But it looks like it's moved just a little bit. Just enough to make it a little more usable. And we got uh, Cummins N14 Big Cam in here. Just shaking it up something different. Got the custom steering wheel from Classic Steering Wheel or whatever. I, whoops. <laughs> Gotta put it in gear because the fan won't pull us. It's not a propeller. I didn't go for the super long chassis just for the just a long chassis, not the stretched. It, it, it actually looks a little funny with the reefer because you got such a huge gap to the reefer. It's a little cooler on a flat Go deck straight. or a low boy. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Uh oh. Wow. Can't find them, grind them. Wait for these guys, I guess. The AI isn't quite a... Normally it's not smart enough to go into that other lane. Oh man, here comes another one. Let's see how smart he is. You should just slam on the brakes behind you. Nine hundred pounds of uh, fruits. Let's say what kind. I guess assorted fruit. That little drive going the other way from where we just left that Moncour uh, winery, heading uh, towards Austin at, in the evening, dusk. It's super nice. The scenery around and landscaping and whatever they're growing, it's all orderly and beautiful. Man, I'm not doing too good on this gearbox. Getting a little snick every time here. Go straight. Oh, <laughs> little one. How about a big one? Oh, well. Lehman machine. The roof cam on this one isn't so good. You don't see anything. You don't even see the the hood or hood ornament. Nothing. Wow, brakes are really good. <laughs> I 
I set them up. I think that last truck I was driving, they weren't so hot. And now I've got too much brakes. Not much weight on, so we'll just have to uh, remember that next time we go to stab them. <laughs> super long trip so we're going to uh, just enjoy it. We'll uh, get to the speed limit and sit on it. It's a nice little stretch along here too. The cows and pasture on the right here. A little slope. Oh, we're going to go to the speed limit sit on it and take our time. Speed limit 75 miles an hour. Dang it. Haven't been to that site yet. The Mammoth site in there. That could be something to try and get into someday. But, uh, yeah, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure in the last video if, uh, where I was at with my Mod Studio 2 working, but it's working good now. And uh, so we're back in the skinning game. Got a lot of these other problems I was chasing for a while all sorted out. With the, trying to do a live stream and everything. And got myself some uh, time to do some skinning now, which is good. up on some patron skins and some long overdue publishing of skins that have been uh, sitting on my computer for quite a while. Uh -oh. talking about the other day how the AI trailers sometimes they just 
They don't look very real. They're just power sliding around there. weather stripping on this truck. It's pretty quiet. That's one of those straight line ones? Oh no, that's a tethered uh, pivot. Pivot irrigation. I'm not liable to run over something out there. Holy. Oh, oh it's poor transmission. Go straight. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. It's turn funny. right. This is just like when I first got into ETS. I was murder on the gears. I started to get a started to get a hang of it with the 16 speed. Now I drive that a whole bunch. And now I'm struggling on the 18. Ah. putting ATS engines in my ETS trucks just so I can hear them because uh, the sound of the European truck engines, most of them, or at least most of the default ones are <laughs> just sounds like an air pump, just I can't pick it out, I don't know when to shift 
Unless it was a new truck or something I hadn't driven before, somebody else's, which happened fairly regularly. You'd take other people's trucks with, like in particular, uh, tractor trailers that the guy didn't want to work on the weekend or do whatever. And I was around, I'd drive them. And uh, it's different when you get out of your own into somebody else's, you're using the tack. Sure, until you get a handle on it. Yeah, I don't think we've hit it. I've, maybe once we got into 18th gear. It's 17th gear, but we're not going too quick. pretty good but I didn't uh, decorate the truck up with a whole bunch of lights so not sure where where we're at with that issue I thought it was better uh, last time I had a 389 out oh and that uh, W900 uh, that was the last route of truck I drove just four or five days ago it seemed pretty good Freightliner wheels on here from uh, Retro Developments. Pretty much my go-to wheel, the Retro. They, they look really good. I wish he had a taller tire. Like, didn't have all these skinny little ones all the time, but it's, it is what it is. The wheels look great. I just got Minnesota plates on here for my uh, go straight. My pretend Minnesota company. wants to rev, it likes to rev quite high compared to like the 3406, but the, the RPMs drop a little slower. 
think that's a Smith and Gibson. Go straight. Just adjust to that right here. I'm not grinding them there. Of course, you can't hear if I'm grinding them out here, I don't think. Better hop in and see if those uh, that uh, just one beat pause on the shifting uh, seems to be helping. Extended there. After that, it's going to be yes, I'm sure. Ah, I had those first couple. I think I waited too long on that one. I was hurrying it before, and now I'm going too quick. Go straight. And the downer is, like I say, you don't feel it. Like in real life, you know if you're coming out too soon or too slow. You can tell the feel of the... There's no feeling in here. It'd be cool, super cool if they had like force feedback shifter. You can tell if you're coming out early because it'd be a little sticky. And if you're going in late, you'd feel it bounce off the... Not the gear, but the dog clutches that make the create the engagement to the gear. How would be uh, how would be something else? Oh I'm sure it's gonna happen. It'd be cool to be around to see it. Turn left. Should have been paying attention. Turn left. To the map. Looking around to see what's up. Out the windows. Uh oh. Almost missed my light. That's a bummer on my little convex mirror there. The little arm, the little manipulator thing for the uh, vent window. <laughs> it's just in the wrong place to see the trailer wheels in that little mirror when you go around a corner. Not good. Maybe they haven't fixed that up. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Don't turn start. right. Oh, there's some good downshifts all in a row. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. We wait for the horse trailer. Well, it's not a horse trailer. It's a. It's got a side by side. On. It's a four way stop. My word. He's probably going. Oh, what's this putz waiting for? After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Don't come up to inside, buddy. Yes, yeah, the destination. little uh, bar in that mirror, or that uh, vet window is 
dead straight where the rear wheels of the trailer are. Let's see what they got in store for us. Oh, we're parking right here. Alrighty. Not much uh, uh, depth to this parking lot. Oh, excuse me. Put you all to sleep. I should try it from in here. Yes, we could. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to do a pull ahead here. That's really bad. I missed her by about two feet. Truck to straight out in front of us here. Oh yeah, we've, we're missing it by a mile again. And again, yeah, I'm worried about the length of this parking lot. It's swinging the truck into this fence. Still wide. Maybe we'll get it. Oh, yeah, they gave it to us. We'll take it. We'll take it. And push the button, Max. That was a nice drive, actually. Not too stressful. Not in a big hurry. No panic. Except for a pretty bad parking job. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a good truck. Like, you know, I just gotta use it more. Yeah. It's big. Like, it's a big monster. Like, uh, you compare it, like, the, you know, the cab height and everything. The, uh, you get in this and after being in the Peterbilt, and then you're, like, the Peterbilt, you're probably sitting a foot and a half lower. This thing's a brute. We've got a big sleeper on there. It's massive. Oh, it's, you can look at the sleeper. Let's see if I turn around enough to get a look at it. Come on, Toby. No, you can do it. Look in there. <laughs> it's big. Lots going on. Anyway, take care, guys. And uh, thanks, as always, for following along. And really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't made it, make a point of getting over to the Discord and seeing what's going on there. Because... Lots of good things happen in it, and uh, you're missing out if you're not there. <laughs> and if you're new to Discord or you haven't figured it out, pretty simple. Just Google Discord, get yourself a membership, and click on the link in the uh, video and uh, come on over and see what's going on. Anyway, take care. Catch you on the next one, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.